now, Action 10's Cole Vaughn with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Welcome back everybody and good Wednesday afternoon to you. We started off the day again very foggy across the coastal bend. It was very difficult on that morning commute for many of you trying to get to and from. Just made it kind of a mess out there. Fortunately, as we made it throughout the morning, the fog burned away and the clouds went away with it. We've seen sunshine really take over as we've made it through the afternoon and we're looking at a beautiful evening underway. A couple more days of conditions just like this with lots of sunshine. Now with the sunshine though means some warmer temperatures. Temperatures are made, making it up into the 70 for this afternoon. We're around 75 in Corpus Christi. Now one thing you'll notice is right here along the coastline we're still in the 60s, but further to the west we've actually had some folks pressing 80 earlier this afternoon now down into the upper 70s. So the pretty big spread across the entire coastal bend just depending on where exactly you're situated. Now the current weather system that has been bringing the clouds brought the fog this morning that's starting to move off to the northeast. So we're actually seeing this clear out of the area. That's why the skies are clearing now. And in fact on the back side of this there's a lot of dry air so it's going to be bringing in that sunshine for the next couple of days going to really treat us to some great outdoor weather. Now one big difference that you're going to notice for tomorrow is going to be the wind speeds. That's going to be probably the only drawback from our Thursday. Winds now blowing about 10 miles per hour for most everyone. But look at tomorrow's forecast. There's the sunshine all day long. Fantastic. But these winds 13 miles an hour to start the day. Not too out of the ordinary. By lunchtime though, we're already up to 25 miles per hour. 27 by the afternoon. This is not quite on par with where we were last week, but these are still some hefty winds that are going to come in and could definitely blow away your Christmas decorations. So once again, you're going to want to make sure those are tied down. High temperature around 71 near 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So here's a look at future tracker. It shows these winds really increasing by lunchtime with th those wind speeds up there 20 to 25 miles per hour. It's going to remain like this all afternoon. You see by four o'clock we've still got that same wind speed blowing. And mind you, these are wind speeds, not wind gusts. Wind gusts will be a good five to 10 miles per hour greater than this, so probably about 30 to 35 miles per hour. Now as we get into the evening hours, that's when things are going to become a little bit nicer. Winds are going to be about 15 miles per hour, much more typical of the coastal bend. So this wind event is going to be a whole lot shorter than what we saw last week. So here's a look at the weather alerts that are in place because here in pink, this is basically all the water, so it does not include the bays and waterways. Gale warning is in effect. This will go for tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Those seas could be up around eight feet at the maximum for some of these near shore waters. So keep that in mind. Well, now it's time for your seven day forecast brought to you by AutoNation. Announcing the AutoNation year end event. Unwrap the savings on over 100,000 vehicles, but hurry, they're going fast. So for the first day of winter, that's when we're going to see lots of sunshine temperature around 70 degrees. It's going to be a great way to end off the week as we start the weekend more in the way of that beautiful weather. Notice what happens though as we get into Sunday, we start to see the clouds increase. That's because a cold front is going to slide into the area, but it's not necessarily going to slide out of the area. So notice what future tracker shows by Sunday. We have a cold front sitting to our north with a little bit of cooler air back behind it. As we get into Monday, though, this starts to move down into the coastal bend and it kind of stalls. The question is, where does it stall? Does it stall just to our north or just to our south? Right now, it's looking like it'll stay to our north, which should keep it, say, in the 70s here on Christmas Eve. But if it moves just to the south, we may see those temperatures go down into the 60s if this cooler air is able to push that front far enough south. However, on Christmas Day, it starts to wiggle back to the north and temperatures are looking much more likely to be in the 70s. So here's that forecast for the start of next week. An isolated shower or two can't be ruled out, but the chances aren't great. Mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures are going to be in the 70s. Christmas Day, not too cool, around 74 degrees. Andy. All right, Cole, thanks.